electrical room. So this is totally just terrible. There's a bunch of units missing. Um, so we're looking for, uh, we got two TUs that are not heating. Um, apparently they've had the fuses replaced recently. So I'm up here because I want to make sure that's the case because I'm getting a little bit of temperature off of one of them. Uh, so we're going to check to see what the BAS is doing and then we'll see if we can force it uh, and then go double check it. So here we go. All right, so we're looking for TUs 117 and 212. All right, so we found 212. I've already verified that I have airflow. Um, so you can see here we have stage on, heat stage on. So it is calling for heat. Um, our damper position is 58%, air temperature discharge is 62.8, so it's not coming on. Alright, so now we got to see if we can find our other one, which is 117. So apparently this one doesn't have a graphic that I, at least I can't find, so this is a list of all the information. Uh, so our discharge air temperature is 62 degrees, our damper position is 58% and heating stage one is on but our discharge air is 62 so it's definitely not r running so we have a problem with it so we need to go find these units and go from there okay so i was just about to leave and i noticed that uh, the discharge temperature on 117 just bumped up to 84.97 anyway we're going to go take a look at these units well assuming i can find them so yeah all right so this is 2112 uh, the contactors are not are, are currently open. So, let's see if I have 24 volts to this transformer. Yep. Okay. So, should, we should be getting a call for heat. So we're gonna go ahead and just check our high voltage. It's probably there, but we want to make sure we have it on all three. So that's one and two, two and three, one and three. Yeah, so we have voltage. Check this one here, one and three, one and two, two and three. Yep. All right, so what we need to do now is if we look here, that yellow wire going into the controller has 24 volts, it bounces over to that red wire, which leads to here, to this contactor. Okay, so we have this. And there is a limit switch there. And then from the limit switch goes into this pressure switch. All right, so we need to make sure that those things are working properly. Another thing I've noticed, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, that it's pretty burnt up, so we're probably going to fix that. Right, let's try to reset this. Yeah, so high limit tripped. Let's get an amp draw reading on this. Alright, so we're getting 14 amps on one circuit. And this circuit, we got nothing. We need to check voltage check our fuses and we're checking our load side we want to check one and two two and three one and three yeah so you can see we have a hundred volts so yeah we lost a fuse let's kill the power and check these things all right, so we got the power killed. Um, I already checked for voltage, always do that. We're on continuity, so that fuse is good. That fuse is good. This one's dead, all right? So we'll take the opportunity to repair these wires since I have the power off. I believe. Yeah. So, I'll go ahead and change that out. So we got our wires repaired, new fuse, and 
found our second one so we're just gonna check our fuses it looks like this one only has one heating circuit so it's kind of it's I'm getting about 70 degree discharge so it's starting to feel like this one's probably fine right. power is off by the way okay that seems to be okay so the only thing I'm seeing here is this so we're gonna fix that one I just noticed that there's a little bit of burning on this wire, so we'll fix that one too. All right, so we flipped her back on. We made our wiring repairs. Uh, she's pulling about 10 amps, which is normal for this one. As you can see, it's a 15 amp fuse. So it's only a single, uh, very small heating element. Uh, no problems with this one. Yeah, I was getting about 70 degrees on the discharge. So I just wanted to check it out, and I'm glad I did because we did find some wires melting, so that was a potential issue. Um, but yeah, it's putting out 70 degrees because it only has that one. So uh, with the other one down, it just couldn't keep up. So I wanted to take the time just to let you guys know that I'm currently on vacation and I'm not going to be posting any videos until next year, uh, the second week of January of 2024. Just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't disappear just on vacation and enjoying the holidays. I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you guys. And we'll see you on the next one. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment. Tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram Facebook. Thanks for watching.